everybody. Thank you for joining our presentation. Uh, my name is Wendy Keller, and I'm Department Chair of Communication, Humanities, and Reading at Stark State College. Hi, and my name is Dr. Therese Redlock, and I am an Associate Professor in Communications, Humanities, and Reading. Very good. Well, we would like to start by sharing with you which courses we have adopted OER into. Here is our list, Effective Speaking, Interpersonal, U.S. History 1 and 2, Sociology, Psychology, College and Career Success Skills, which is our three credit hour version course, and Student Success Skills, which is a one credit hour course, Ethics and Small Group. This is how we have been collecting data to track the cost analysis. You can see on the left, we list the courses, the semester that we adopted, whether it was a pilot or a full immersion, what the original text was, the cost, and then how many students. So the exciting news is if you can look at the very bottom right, you will see that in less than two years time, we have saved students over $600,000. So we are very excited to see that we have saved students so much money in such a short period of time. In fact, it's remarkable that a student could make a whole semester of OER courses. So let me begin by saying that we have been blessed uh, to work with an instructional designer. Her name is Patty Brown, and not only does she help us create OER, or OER courses, but she also teaches ethics herself. So one thing that we've worked with her is to make sure that the OER link is embedded into our course in multiple ways. Uh, first in our Start Here folder, but then in the weekly folders. One point that we want to stress is that for those students who still prefer a hard copy text that they can go down to our bookstore. And depending on this, the specific course, up to about 20% of students have shown an interest that they may want to buy a printed copy. We also have OER in the SSC 101 Student Success Skills and IDS 115 College and Career Success Skills. Both of these classes are first year experience courses. The SSC 101 is one credit hour and it focuses on note taking, reading, communicating, as well as a heavy um, explanation of all of the resources that are Stark State College specific versus the IDS 115, which is a three credit hour course and it's much more specific um, towards the actual skills that the students need that um, their careers are going to require. So for the SSC 101 course, we started it last summer and we ran it summer and fall and we have a total of about 1500 students. They saved over $134,000 in this course alone. Um, one of the things we like is we have it set up so that there are links by chapter in their materials folder so they can just go and click on it. And because of the way the OER text was set up, it was easy for us to um, align the chapter and the assignment objectives to our own course learning objectives. And one of the things that was nice also is it gave Patty Brown, our um, e-learning uh, designer, she was able to go in and use the eight week web version. So the fully online version of the course as a template for other courses um, that were eight week across the college. And we just a few weeks ago were able to get the 16 week uh, web uh, version approved by Quality Matters as well. And now we have a 16 week template for her to follow. So as far as assessment is concerned in the left-hand side, you'll see the course learning objectives on that second column, um, that was a hard copy textbook. And you can see these are the assignments that we used as they correlate to each course learning objective. In the middle column um, from spring of 2016 to spring of 2020, we did use an ebook for this course. It was cheaper for our students by probably 50%. However, there were a lot of glitches. Um, sometimes the website was down. 
Um, sometimes the students had difficulty logging in. Sometimes the teachers had difficulty logging in. It was never what we consider to be our best um, choice. And once the OER opportunities became available, it was not difficult for us to move over um, to an OER version um, more than anything because of the cost and the easy way to maneuver within the textbook. And you can see on the right hand side that we just started in the fall of 2020 um, with the OER um, course itself. And these are the uh, assignments we used as a correlate with the course learning objectives for assessment fall 2020. So when we use the traditional text, we had these were the uh, percentages um, for assessment for each one. They're called general learning objectives. We changed the name to course learning objectives to for alignment. And then we did the OER text in the fall. And you see that the OER um, learning objectives, they were about the same percentages. Some were a little bit lower, some were the same, some were a little bit higher. Um, I'm very happy with these scores considering it was the first semester that uh, we had so many teachers teaching the course and it was during the COVID semester where everything that we had was online. So one of the benefits that we have with the SSC 101 and the IDS 115 is that the students can access their text on day one. There's no access codes or registration required. The text information is embedded in Blackboard. It's very easy to get around. There's really no troubleshooting needed since all students have to do is click on the link that corresponds uh, with that particular chapter. And here's a copy of what the students see right away whenever they click on the chapter one link. So the IDS 115, as I said before, it's the same procedure um, as far as SSC 101. Uh, we have an additional 600 plus students that we are anticipating for summer and fall, uh, saving them $76,000. One of the things I like about the IDS 115 text that we are able to find in the OER is all of the materials that are available in Google Doc formats as well, because we have a lot of high school students who take this course in Ohio. It's called College Credit Plus for those of you who do not teach in Ohio, where the students take this course and they can earn college credit that's transferable to other Ohio colleges and universities on the Ohio University system. It also aligns with the Ohio Readiness Seal skills for high school students. It is just one of the areas where the students can get this skill. They do need a total of three. So from a course, from a volunteer work, or from their job. Okay. Also, we are very excited that we worked as a collaborative team, all the full-time people, to adopt uh, actually two OER textbooks. So we use uh, about 95% from one textbook and then a chapter or two from another text. And we worked together, we divvied up the work. It is a lot of work when you start from scratch and don't have publisher material, but one person took the quizzes, another person took the discussion, somebody else decided uh, that they were going to do the assignments. So it, it took us maybe a four or five meetings to sit down and divvy up the work with the new text, but it was well worth it. And then we had two people that worked together to develop the interpersonal text. Here you can see the comparison of our assessment results from a few years ago with our old text to the OER text. And you can see that, that uh, again, it was very com comparable. Again, this was during COVID. So we had students forced online that we would have not originally had online. So that could play a big bearing on this as well. And we anticipate that the numbers should go back up again um, post, post COVID. As for history, here are our results. Um, I know a lot of people have asked me, how did you manage to do it in history? Because I only have adjuncts teaching and it's very difficult to get them all together. But we actually had one person who served on the state panel and really designed the course 
for History 121 and another adjunct that took the lead for History 122 and they did a phenomenal job. All of the other adjuncts said, yes, we want to save students from paying uh, over a $100 textbook. So here you can see the OER assessment results to the old book. Again, very compatible, again, with the caveat that uh, in the fall, this was again during COVID, and we have quite a few high school students taking the History 121 and 122 where they may not have been familiar again, so that may have made their results a little bit lower than would be typical. So we wanted to share with you not only the cost analysis, but also that we are tracking this from an assessment point of view as well. All of our courses using OER, now we have a shell course, so we're asking that all of the faculty hop on board. We've had little resistance from, from the faculty saying that they wanted to and actually have enjoyed moving to the OER text. So you may have some questions. We look forward to seeing you in the live uh, presentation uh, uh, very soon. Thank you, take care.